I don't know how to start this. They say we're afraid of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. The act of not knowing what we really don't know. Kind of like when you say you're afraid of the dark, but really, you're afraid of what's in it. You say you're scared of being alone, but what you really fear is someone being there, watching you. <laughs> Do you remember when I used to make you check behind the curtains before we went to bed? Stop being silly, Charlotte, you'd say. You always did that. Let me know how silly I was being. Like when you took me to see your mum and dad. I was so scared. But you held me the entire time, reminding me not to say anything silly. I always wish we could have seen them more. But I know how it was for you. I know more than you think. You never said you were scared. You said you weren't afraid of anything. I used to believe that. I remember when you, you would go to bed and shut your eyes straight away, even when it was dark. You never looked behind your shoulder when you were alone. Never stared out the kitchen window at night waiting to see something move. I used to think that meant you were brave. I looked up to you for that. I looked up for you for a lot of things. Everything. I idolised you so much. You were everything to me. You were the family that I never had. I loved you more than I loved myself at times. You got used to them words quick. I love you, Charlotte. It's nice to be reminded. It didn't really matter how you said it. I just wanted you to say it. I love you, Charlotte. I love you, Charlotte. I love you. You always said that I was important. You need to be sure of what you say. A lot of things stayed, you know, for a while. I still put the cups upside down in the cupboard. I still put oil in my spaghetti when I cooked it instead of salt. <laughs> it still stuck together. I made lists. I made lists of everything, lists of all my lists. I need to know where I've been, what I've been doing. I couldn't forget, I can't forget. I will never let myself forget Joe. I think I thought I had to forget you. People told me I had to protect myself, that I had to let you go, that it was for my own good. I didn't know what was good for me. I thought you were good for me. You told me you were good for me. I felt like it was all about you. You were all that I thought about. You were all that I cared about. People would ask me how you were when I saw them, what you were up to. I really thought that would change when I left. But it didn't. Without you, I was £3.72 an hour. I was the tired eyes finishing assignment at 2am. The last tin of soup at the back of the cupboard. I was gathering dust. I was a ghost and... And I watched. Everything went black for a while. Things went fuzzy, the colour faded. People spoke to me and all I could hear was a tone. It was quiet. I often felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I couldn't live, I was just existing. I guess it's kind of like when you're not wearing glasses. You know when you look around and everything's fuzzy, nothing seems real. It's kind of what it feels like in my head. I walk around and nothing's real. But it feels like the world's at the bottom of a swimming pool, like how you try and run when you're dreaming. I'm trying to get places, think about things, and I'm trying with everything in me, and I look down and I'm in the same spot. I don't know. It makes sense to me. Sometimes I'd lie in bed. I'd start to get the feeling. It's not that often now. Not how it used to be. It's like everything is so big. Like standing in the middle of a forest and all the tree trunks are a mile wide. Like something is heavy inside of me. Like I'm trying to float up, but there's a heavy stone in my stomach. I used to think that was you. Like a heavy stone. 
can't stand that feeling. It's like you're always there. You're gone and I know you are and I'm glad you are, but no matter where I go, no matter what I'm doing, you're there, watching, waiting, judging. I'd run. I ran everywhere, I still do. I run away from you, from us, from the flat, from the upside down cups, the checking behind the curtains. I went crazy, Joe. I always felt crazy. I was crazy because of you. You say I was mental, I went mental. I ran at night, I ran in the dark because I couldn't stand the feeling of people's eyeballs across my skin. It felt like you, it stung. Everything felt like you. I had to run away from it, Joe. I never felt safe. I never thought I'd walk again, breathe again. I wish I were dead for so long, I forgot what it was like to live. Then I woke up and I breathed. Did you know a seed, a, a plant, a seed can break through concrete because it's able to find any microscopic cracks. It swells a thousand times its size and then fucking explodes. Why aren't we the seeds? What about us says that we can't break through the things that are blocking us for no other reason than because we think we might be able to get through it? Every notion in my bones resonates with the beingness of that seed. I blow through what blocks me. You blocked me. And I don't want you to think that I want you to pay or that I'm doing this to get back at you. Because the truth is, I forgive you, Joe. I need to forgive you because I forgive me. Forgive myself for letting you do what you did, and for so long. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I let myself sleep. I let people's eyes touch my skin. I let myself walk because I'm not running away anymore. I'm not your partner. I'm not your property. Are you me? You. Shortcut to quick bucks, working all the time, renting out your mind and saving every time. Cause in ten of those combined, you cross your sacred line and go from pocket chain. Ask me where I wasn't when